Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I thought I would do another cleaning video since my last one was well received and I also really needed to clean out my fridge as you can see. The fridge for me tends to get cluttered really easily and it's so easy to just close the doors and pretend that there's no mess but eventually you gotta do a big clean out so that's what I'm doing today. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Laura, I'm 26 and a mother of two children and I try to upload new videos every week so be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. I have been obsessed with these microfiber cleaning cloths since I opened them in this video. They're just so good at picking up dirt or bits of food or wiping down the counters, anything like that. I always used to use my own dish cloths that I crochet, but I think I'm officially switching over to microfiber because they just work so well. watch any of my other videos, you've likely seen me use this cleaning spray. I've been a big fan of Attitude for years, and it's pretty much the only cleaning brand I use in my house. Their motto is worry-free ingredients. And I think in a world where toxic chemicals and products have run rampant, it's so important to be mindful of what we're exposing ourselves to. I know after this clean out there's basically no food left in the fridge but that's okay because we're actually on vacation right now as I'm recording this so we needed to empty the fridge because we weren't going to be home. and I tend to hoard condiments. We're always trying new sauces for dipping or sandwiches and there's just so many here that I needed to go through. I'm pretty sure that I got rid of like 90% of our staff. <laughs>
after cleaning out the fridge and dealing with all the compost, which I didn't show because it's gross, <laughs> I finished the dishes and tidied up the rest of the kitchen. Kitchen Island is such a clutter magnet and I've actually observed within myself that when it's clean, I'm in a better mood. For some reason, when there's stuff on it all the time, I feel really frazzled and I don't even realize that that's why until after I've cleaned it and I feel so much better. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in your house that you just feel so much better after it's cleaned. I swear I could make a video every day where I tidy the living room, which basically doubles as a toy room. And that's just what is working for us right now. I absolutely love when houses have a devoted playroom for the kids. I think that's so cool and I hope one day that can be a thing for us too. So for a while, I haven't been loving the look of the darker rug in our living room. So I bought this rug on Wayfair and I'm gonna be honest, I really wasn't sure about it at first because the corners were lifting and it wasn't laying completely flat, but I'm happy to say that it did flatten out after a while. Sometimes you gotta watch out for Wayfair. I feel like a lot of their stuff is very hit or miss. This quilt was handmade by my grandmother as our wedding gift almost three years ago. And as much as I love it so much, you're soon going to see me rip it off the bed because I felt like it was giving 80s cottage vibes and I wasn't digging it. And like I said, I do love the quilt so much. I just think that I need to find a different way to style it on the bed. So along with the kitchen island being a clutter magnet, we also have the dresser in the bedroom. <laughs> 
This pretty much always has clothing on it in some capacity, so I try to keep on top of it so that it doesn't turn into a disaster like this. Also, shout out to Adrian who wanted to be in the video. Putting on my headphones and listening to a podcast while I fold laundry or do any kind of monotonous chore, I just feel like it makes it way more interesting. Lately, I've been really enjoying listening to Adam McIntyre and all of the Colleen Ballinger YouTube drama. If you know, you know. This is another thing that I could include in every video. Emma loves to play in this bedroom, and every day she somehow manages to get this mirror to look absolutely disgusting. Somebody commented in my last cleaning video that this rug is such a pain in the butt to vacuum, and it's so true. The material it's made of makes it really hard to move the vacuum freely through it, so if it looks like I'm working really hard, that's why. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low same time feels so right then i'm wrong hoping i'll be fine but i get up i always do i never think i always do never thought i wouldn't jump oh what a fool i love is going cold you leaving out the door and say i don't know when i'll be home in my heart it's tearing me apart just trying to find a light in the dark i know that you're afraid believe me when i say it's all right we'll get by Adrian's room is in desperate need of a makeover. He still has the same wall colors that I painted when I was 28 weeks pregnant with him. And as much as I loved it then, I want to change it up to something that's more him. So watch out for that video when I finally do paint his room.
All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future uploads. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.